I don't want to know how to handle myself. No cussing, <laughs> no hair pulling, and no rules. I'm bored. Hello! That's what we do before we debate! Which is what we're gonna be doing today. We're playing the Smosh edition of Master Debaters. We have a we have a game at Target, guys. Isn't that That's crazy? Awesome. So we're gonna play it. So we're gonna have people pair off, and they have to debate, and then there's juries that decide who is who wins, and then the judge will either agree with them or not. But first, everyone has to pick a number, and we'll see who. Oh. No, you can't have that one. You can't. Don't share your number with anyone. Okay. okay. Top secret. Except Shane, though, Keep right? Keep a secret. Everybody has their number memorized? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay, good, because I don't, and luckily I'm the judge. Okay, so we're gonna do three rounds of this. First round, the debaters have 30 seconds for opening statements, and then 30 seconds for rebuttals. And then the second round is 20 seconds, and the third round is 10. Ooh, challenging. What? Okay, people who are not being the master debaters for that round are the jury. Okay, ready? These are our first two. Five and two. Five and two. What the uh, hell? Are you okay? What? It's on camera. Uh, are you okay? I'm five. Wait, I'm you're... two. What? <laughs> That's creepy. The prompt is, what is the worst sound in the world? Ooh. The first person has to say what the worst sound in the world is, and the second person has to defend that sound and say why it's not the worst. Five, four, three, two, Go. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you know me, I'm just a southern lawyer. Uh, but I think that the worst sound in the world is somebody chewing chips right next to your ear very closely. Because not only do you get the crunch, hard dryness of chips, but you get the slapping, sweet, spitty sound as well as they're trying to digest it with their mouth enzymes. So uh, you get you get, you get get dry and you get wet at the same time and all of it's offensive and it hurts and you just feel it shiver <laughs> down your spine and you're like, oh no, I don't want none of that. I became Lee Russell from Vice Principals. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, and begin. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I'm just another southern lawyer. <laughs> now, my opponent here seems to think this is the worst noise, but I can think of many worse. Has anyone ever sucked on a peppermint a mere inch from your ear? Or has anyone ever scratched a chalkboard? Uh. Or has anyone done this? <laughs> I contend these are far worse. <laughs> okay, rebuttal, and begin. Now I hear what my opponent is saying. He's saying that uh, sucking on a mint or maybe uh, screaming in the air is a little bit bad, and I do agree, and I think we can all agree with that. However, I would like to pose that those, those sounds can be made infinitely worse by somebody chewing chips at the same time right <laughs> near your ear. It's an exponential thing every single time, no matter how you cut it. <laughs> Lee Russell from Vice Principals. <laughs> I love that show. Bye, 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 bye. Now, in order for something to be the worst sound, it must be the worst sound at all times. Now, chewing chips is a relative noise based on your level of hunger. Now, if you are very hungry, it might sound very delightful to you. If you are not hungry, sure, it will be bad then. But I would contend that a NASCAR race sounds bad all the time. <laughs> Thank you, ladies and gentlemen of the jury. Brown. My character has a gullet. <laughs> Mine has frilled neck parts like one of those lizards that get scared. Uh, that's <laughs> called the shape of water. <laughs> so it is a unanimous vote for number two. Wow. Oh. Whoa. No, I get it. Uh, the Smosh Games guy comes on to Smosh Main for a minute and um, no, you take care of your own. Oh. Stop talking about Wes that way. <laughs> I will say that when I'm full, the, chew the sound of chewing will make me want to throw up. It is a very rough sound. However, there are worse sounds, so I decree number two is the winner of the first debate. Master debater? The, the you are the master debater! you are a good number two. Four. And three! Ooh. I am four. I am three. Oh. Wow. oh no! And if you guys do your thing where you're nice to each other, you're both fired. <laughs> <laughs> Is peeing in the shower acceptable? Oh. Begin. All right, guys. So I totally feel that peeing in the shower is acceptable because, first of all, it's very convenient. Second of all, you save a lot of water. And third of all, hey, why not? Um, first, 
Uh, did I say it was convenient? Yeah, because you got sometimes the water hitting your back just makes you want to pee, and you just gotta do it. And you're like, hey, it's the right time. Second of all, you save water. You don't have to do that extra flush. And third of all, you know what? I love doing it. It just feels right and natural. Why are you so crazy? Because it took speech and debate. Here's your opening okay. statement. Well, peeing in the shower is not acceptable because it is an extreme waste. First of all, you have to pee down your legs, thus you are wasting more water because you need to take more time to scrub your legs clean, and you are not using your toilet. AKA, you have a toilet that you are not getting your money out of. That is a waste. You are making your legs sturdy. You have to scrub more, thus making your loofah more worn out, and you have to buy another loofah sooner, and you have to use more body wash so that like you can get the so you your legs, and your, and your toilet is very lonely. <laughs> your toilet's lonely. <laughs> Olivia, are you ready for your yes. rebuttal? Begin. Yes. I know I said in the previous um, time <laughs> that, it's, it, 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 that it's very, you, you are saving water by not doing that extra flush, but you're also saving toilet paper, which is very expensive sometimes. Therefore, because you're in the shower and you can conveniently, you know, wash your private parts. So, you know, you're saving a lot, honestly. So yeah, go pee in the shower, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Well, you guys Very seen exciting. Degrassi? It's really good. Yeah. <laughs> Here's my rebuttal. So, some people, what they like to do when they just pee in the toilet, they just leave it there, and then you keep saving up your pee, and you keep peeing and peeing and peeing, and then you can use one flush for multiple pees. Even more saving water. Sometimes, you, you um, and when it's just pee, you just have to use a very little toilet paper, whereas you're wasting multiple products in the shower. You're wasting shampoo, you're wasting loofah, you're wasting your own gosh darn time. When, and also, a toilet is made for one thing, shower made for the other. You, shower's not supposed to get dirty and <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Let's oh. count the votes. We have three for four. Uh, it's up to the judge. I think we have to trust the, the jury on this one. Congratulations, Olivia. Hey, good Peeing in the shower is very good. I agree. In real life, it, I it, pee it in the shower. To, it's hard to defend hard a case to that you believe in. Yeah, I love peeing in the shower. Yeah, I do it every day. I'm just It'd really nice upset that you are. Hard. Well, I'm gonna be the judge now in this round. Okay, so we have two more numbers left. Two more people. I wonder who it's gonna be. Oh. Number six. You thought for a second that was nine. Yeah, I did. <laughs> and number one. <laughs> and your prompt is coconuts are nuts. Go! All right, coconut is definitely not. It's in the name, it's in the description. You open it up and it's sweet and delicious inside, just like a regular nut. It's got that nice shell and then the delicious little filling. It even has milk in it. What comes from milk? Almonds. Almonds are also nuts. That's really good. Wow. Yeah, Come on. Wow, okay. What? Yeah. I don't, do I have to argue anymore? I don't yeah. think I do. I'm just gonna sit here and say how delicious too. coconut milk is. Yeah, it's delightful. Like it's delicious. Coconut. It's good for you and healthy. Coconuts are healthy, just like nuts. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Ring. That's right. pretty good. I would like to argue that a coconut is improperly classified for a coconut comes with milk already in it as opposed to other nuts which you have to squeeze out. Along with the fact a coconut has three holes, think closest to a coconut that also has three holes, a bowling ball. Can you bowl an almond? No. <laughs> Therefore, coconuts are closer to bowling balls than they are to nuts. <laughs> All right, so my opponent said that coconut's not a nut because it already has the milk inside. That just means it's more convenient of a nut than an almond is or anything else that you would squeeze stuff out of. Coconut was just like, you know what? I want to be the best nut. So I got this milk right inside. All you have to do is crack me open and there it is. You know, it's all delicious. It's really, really good. If you like nuts, you'll probably like coconuts because it's a nut and it's in the name. Also, it put, it's put in desserts and it's really good. <laughs> Cool. I would like to argue that my opponent's statement that just because nut is in the name that it is a nut, a coconut is nowhere near any part cacao, even though it's got cocoa in its name. I would like to also comment on the fact that he said that it's just like an almond in the sense that it's more convenient than one, therefore it's a nut. A cashew comes in any sort of peanut mix, it's very convenient to eat, and yet it's closer to poison ivy than it is an actual nut. Therefore, I believe coconuts are closer to bowling balls than actual nuts, just like a cashew is closer to ivy than a peanut or an almond. Thank you. <laughs> Wow. Dude. <laughs> Number one. Ooh. Number one. <gasps> oh. Number one. Whoa. Another unanimous. Oh, unanimous right. right. every judge, time. Hey. It's up to the judge. Although I think coconuts are nuts, I really 
enjoyed your argument. Thank you. Noah. Thank you. So number one wins. Oh! You think we're gonna come up? Ooh. How should the word, and I'm gonna spell it, C-A-R-A-M-E-L, so caramel, caramel, how should it be pronounced? One is caramel, two is caramel. So let's give it a shot. <laughs> Either way you spell it, it's delicious. We are not cool. debating on deliciousness. No, Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, uh, the English language is not consistent. It never has been. Caramel is the accepted term used by most people. Uh, a lot of words and letters don't make sense. Caramel would be correct if we use Spanish pronunciation, but we don't. Okay. I would like to stand here and argue on behalf of the baker who originally invented caramel, caramel, uh, <laughs> that he put lots of care into it. I was showing that, that you can pronounce it either way, but it needs an uh at the end. Caramel, caramel. There's a second A that my opponent is not pronouncing, and that is honestly disrespectful to the original baker. We have to strike original baker from the record because it happened after the ding. Bakers do not make sweet candies, uh, for one. That's a very different thing. They used yeast. Uh, now, I'd also like to point out that my opponent said the word that I said. Uh, did you not hear? Also, Pronounce he's a very different. bad man. He threatened my life before this debate today. <laughs> I would love to openly debate whether or not I threaten my opponent's life. <laughs> Prior to this debate, no life was threatened, merely the ability to walk later. I did threaten that I would break both of his kneecaps if he called me out on pronouncing his side of the argument uh, correctly as opposed to my own side of the argument, and now that he has, I will be hurting him. He this wanted to ah Tanya me. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> I did. I did. Well, it was really Time dark for a Nickelodeon show. <laughs> One for number six. One for number six. Oh. And one for number six. It's been unanimous every uh -oh. time. Uh oh. Well, I will say, as the judge, I do have power to veto this, but I won't. You said his word. I said his word. I said Play back the tape. There was an A. Caramel. All right, so I'm the judge. Ooh. Why is the person sitting here right? The Coolest person in the room. Cannot include the judge. Oh. <laughs> Go. Olivia is the best person in the world because she's caring in terms of one, she cooks, two, she takes care of you, she'll take you to urgent care and help you get through some hard stuff. She's awesome because she can be silly and goofy one second, but then talk about some sick documentary the next, and she's intelligent and silly at the same time. Also, she's willing to kiss me on the mouth. <laughs> yeah, we'll do it right now. Oh, yeah. All right, all right. Only... <laughs> all right, there's nothing less cool than trying really hard to be cool. And oh. Noah does not do that. Noah has oh. his own style. Oh. Clearly, he's not trying to conform to anybody else. Wow. If he wants cool fashion, he makes it himself using classic skills, which is also cool. He doesn't buy it. This is not pre-packaged cool. This is someone being himself, which I think we can all aspire to. Ding. <laughs> 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 I don't know if you noticed, but both these cool people have their own merch lines. I'm not gonna point any fingers, but I'm pretty sure this girl over here has a way more successful clothing line of Life's Party, You're a Boy. That slogan, so sick. Everybody says Life's Party, You're a Boy. Nobody says six digit on Twitter. Everybody says, there's so many This turned into a diss track. Uh, Courtney, you brought up some great points about why Olivia is a very sweet and kind person. I think we can all agree about that, but that's not what this is. This is about who is coolest. Now, bringing up the brands, Olivia is, is doing very well, but it started way before Noah's did. And he's diversified. He's got the world of pins, which is something he wanted to do. It's pretty hip, it's pretty cool. You know, shirts are great, but he's getting a little bit more into other stuff. Thank you. Good job, dude. They're not for sale, currently. Thank you. <laughs> oh, cool. And you can't have it. That's how cool it is. Wes, tell us what the jury voted. Vote, tell us the votes, please. This person wrote B. <laughs> oh, what? Oh, oh my god. god. What? Shamed it. How dare what? you? Uh, how dare you, Shane? Uh, what? Uh, one for number five. All right. Shock surprise. And one for number one. So I, 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 it's a tie amongst the votes. A B kind of looks like a five. It's an even number. That's true. Yeah. It's an mm. equal running between one five Who and B. Who had the better? Mm. Who do Boy, I give it to? Don't forget yeah, B. Yeah, I forgot about B. Sorry, you just yeah. give Shane the win because he usually doesn't. Oh. What? Because he usually doesn't. You worked doesn't. out B. I'm going to need you to not talk while he's deciding. <laughs> <laughs> so. It's
It's really funny now because I was gonna give the points oh to Damien over here, but now it's going to Courtney. How, yes! how did you win mock trial? <laughs> I was the witness. Screw you, Judge! <laughs> you don't know me! I feel like you're the guy in the movie that's like, that's like, we're all about to get beat up and the guys just like turn away and decide to leave and you're like, yeah, you better run! Oh, yeah. And then they yeah, turn they back around and we're just like, yeah. My master debaters will debate the point of why is your opponent a better person than you? Oh, Ooh, that's good. That's a good card. I would buy this game. Number one goes first. <laughs> My opponent is way better than me because first of all, he gives the best hugs. I personally felt them, and we all know he's just like a bear. Secondly, he loves candy, and I love candy, and he's super sweet, and he's filled with milkshakes. And <laughs> third, he is also um, engaged, and he believes in love, something so different than me. Wow. What? You don't believe in We're gonna have to strike Ooh, that okay. in. So Olivia's great. Uh, we even had Courtney arguing how great she is. She's super nice and generous. Every time I see her, she just gives a big smile and it makes you feel welcome and warm and happy inside. And I feel like she does that to everyone because there's not a single person out there that's like, oh man, I don't like Olivia. Everyone's like, oh, Olivia's the best. Oh. And she is. She's the best. Wow, she is the, I didn't hear what you said after. Wow. Okay guys, cut to winner games. When we were in the relay race, I really could not finish that slushy, and he finished it for me and he got like twice the brain freeze and he also carried me on his back through multiple challenges and I think that is a great friend and I can't do that for you but you and you've always been there for me so I love you man. Wow, that is true. That was great. Aw, thank you so much. I love you too. But you know, <laughs> I'm just going to disparage myself on this one because I'm allowed to argue. I just really wanted a Slurpee at that point. Oh. I wanted more sugar, so I don't know if that was really the nicest thing. But oh, I'll take some other compliments. But you give great hugs. You're always so happy to see everybody and you make everyone feel so welcome. So our jury believes that number two is the best debater. We got one vote for Wes. A number four. <gasps> Ooh! One vote for Olivia. We also got fair. Four, that's four. 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 We got another four. Okay, oh! there we go. Good job. Yeah, you well, you should have won. Wait, wait. I think both sides were really great at debating, uh, but I think the difference between the two where that number four was only displaying their perspective, while number two made a great point that arguing on behalf of number four being a better person was also a prior debater. Um, so I think, uh, Wes, you have won the debate. Woo! Wow. In this final round, we have 10 seconds for both open seconds. debate and 10 seconds for our opening statement. Sweet. Is it possible to be friends with your ex? Go. Yes, you can be friends with your ex because there's many different types of friends. There's frenemies, there's friends with benefits, there's even friends where the end of the word is spelled differently because maybe you wanted to spell it differently. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right, no, you can't be friends with your ex. You want to be in a new relationship and that's just going to be awkward. You don't want to make your new person feel that awkward and that un insecure. You don't want to do that. That's yeah. bad. Okay. I didn't hear that part. Go. My opponent's incorrect because he says that you can't be friends with your ex because a future partner would not like that. I think that that's very wrong and that's you not being a good friend. Therefore, you cannot be a friend with your ex, but your ex could still be a friend to you. What? You just suck. I didn't well, hear that after the He just said you just suck. <laughs> and that's I feel like if you were friends with an ex, then great. You didn't have that great of a relationship that you can just turn to be friends. But most people, if you didn't have that good of a relationship, you were probably just a bad significant other. Wow. Ouch. I don't even remember what they said. Uh, uh, I said yes, you could be friends with your ex. No, 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 no we're no, done. Time's up. Reject him out of the court cannon. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here are the three. Three. Can't wait for this one, Shane. What? <laughs> Twee. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to vote for um, Wes because Noah did say you suck <laughs> to him. <laughs> and that's not okay. Four and one. You heard me? Yeah. yeah. Who's one? <laughs> oh! Oh! No! Which discounted service is the best choice? Discount plastic surgery or discount tattoo removal? Oh. Cool. It's hilarious. You get a jacked up looking nose. Come on, it's good laughs for the rest of your life. Or one boob that's over there and one boob that's up there. Come on, awesome. <laughs> Uh, let's be honest, if you need a tattoo removed, you spent $45 on it in Daytona Beach while super drunk and you flashed your butt to get a discount. Listen, you don't need a $1,000 tattoo removal for that. <laughs> That's true. 
Rebuttal, Sean. Uh, let's be honest, if you need that to rub a boo, you can do it at Dota Beach. And then you do it. That's what he sounds like. <laughs> Get my surgery. That guy sucks. Oh my god. With discount plastic surgery, you can end up with uh, the holy grail of bad things. Three butts! And I don't care how dangerous you think tattoo removal is, it's better than having three butts. I think we can all agree you don't get three butts. <laughs> Two votes! And we have a little flag on a golf course. Uh oh, so, that's uh, a one. That's a four! <laughs> a that, looks like a four. Uh, that looks like a one. I am going to go with the jury on this one so and give it to that guy. Oh my <laughs> first car! Wow! We got two numbers here. I don't, we don't have to pick them. We got five and six. Uh, which one of y'all is five and which one of y'all is six? I'm six. Five. I'm never gonna remember that. All right, so one of y'all is five, one of y'all is six. Do songs need to have thought-provoking lyrics to be good? And go. Thought-provoking lyrics means more thought was put into them. That person is more talented and, and cares more about their music, therefore they deserve more credit, and that's, uh, that's good. <laughs> uh, 10 American seconds up on the board. Go. Uh, well, Bach and Beethoven created really great masterpiece music, and there were no lyrics, so I'm saying for that. Wow. wow. Oh, I, I thought it was remember. pronounced batch and beef oven. <laughs> <laughs> Fly. The de definition of a good can also mean successful. If a good song is number one on the charts and it has lyrics in it, usually if it's number one or number ten, that means it's good. So it is good to have lyrics. Olivia, sure. bring it on home with those 10 second rebutals. But I al I'd always say that, like, even though the songs are good, sometimes they're timeless and international, just like how. Bach and Beethoven's music. It's international and it's timeless. Hey. Wow. <laughs> we got one vote for number six. Beep, 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 beep. Beep, beep, beep. We got one vote for number six turned into a dog with a wiener nose. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> And Damien sucks five from Shane, which is invalid. Um, therefore, oh. we gotta give this one to Olivia. You done did it! You done oh did it! Yeah. All right, so we've got a three-way tie. No matter how many people tie, there's still one way to choose the winner in this game, and that is everyone who is tied for first place chooses a card, and they pick whether the pro or con side of the debate for that topic. All three people debate a different topic, whatever side they want, and then we choose of all three topics who just the best, the most masterful. Who debater sold in 15 seconds? So what are you debating? Uh, that cupcakes are the superior form of cake. Ooh, your 15 seconds go. They are superior because they can form mass armies. They can fit in your pocket if you have very large cupcake-shaped pockets. Uh, but one giant human would not be as good as uh, the population that we have on Earth. Uh, I think saying you don't like cupcakes is saying you don't like people. <gasps> <laughs> I'm debating that movies are better than TV shows. Ooh. Okay, you ready? Yes. 15 seconds, go. I think movies are better because it's more social. You can invite all your friends to watch a movie, and, and, and TV shows are harder because there are pauses in between uh, episodes. And I think movies are better because it's a whole experience and a journey in an hour and 15 minutes rather than two years. Wow. All right, Wes, what are you debating? I'm going to be arguing which would be a better place to live at, uh, a closet in Hawaii or a mansion in Ar Antarctica. What's better to live in? I'm going to go with the mansion. Ooh, in Antarctica. Okay, let us know. You ready? Go for it. All right, so closet, pretty much living in, like, New York City. A mansion in Antarctica? You got free snow cones all over the place. You got free water. You just go outside and melt it down. And if you got a mansion, you got cool stuff like TVs and all that sort of stuff. Closet, you're standing straight up while you're sleeping. That ain't comfortable. Wow. Mm, okay. Um, I chose as the most masterful debater, um, Olivia. Thank you. Um, I chose as the most masterful debater, uh, Spain Tom. Spain Tom. Uh, I picked Olivia also. Ooh. Ooh. Olivia wins! Yeah. 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 She's so right about movies. I would say we're all master debaters in a way. In oh, and we have this awesome game that we played, and it has yeah. Yeah. our channel written on the box. That's really cool. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you can check these out. They'll be showing up in Targets uh, all around the country. And um, online, too. And online? Yeah. Even better. Look at that. You could say it's a Smosh game. Oh! Oh! Get off our channel, Get actually. out. Go. 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 Remove you your yourself. Oh, I was Remove promised cookies. Yourself. Yeah, I was Where's promised West would have cookies. So Remove yourself. <laughs> We love you guys. Post in the bye. comments. Hit the notification again. bell. We love you. Hit the notification bell. Love you. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye. -bye. Thank you so much for watching us play Master Debater Smosh Edition. If you want to pick up the first Smosh board game ever, it's available only at Target, in stores, and online.